Hello there. Today I'll show you how the vocalists of famous deep group bands have changed. You will learn their real names and ages. Watch this video to the end to see what 25 deep group artists looked like in their childhood and youth, and what they look like now in 2023. Enjoy watching. Phil Bozeman unleashed the potential of his voice in the Tennessee-based band White Capel, which he founded with his buddies in 2006. Their second album This Is Exile was a success and reached number 18 on the Billboard Top 200. Alex Kohler founded the band Chelsea Grin at the age of 16. Their debut album Desolation of Eden hit the Billboard charts, and the following releases cemented their success. Since 2018 Alex has been engaged in a solo project Grudges. All fit for an Autops fans know the name Joe Badalotto because he is the vocalist of this deep group band since 2015. He took part in the recording of four albums and two EP. The release Oh What the Future Holds was highlighted as one of the best metal albums of the year. Taylor Barber is the vocalist of Left to Suffer. The band combined everything interesting from the genre and got a new sound that listeners called New Deepker. Dan Watson was the vocalist of Infant Annihilator for the first two years of the band's existence. In 2014 he co-founded the Dietger band Enterpriser, which released four studio albums and two EP. But in 2022 Dan left this band as well. Before we move on to the next celebrity, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my new videos. And also click like if you want to support my work. Thank you. Russian Dietger vocalist Alexander Shikolai, better known as Alex Terrible, became famous as the frontman of Slaughter to Prevail. The debut song Crowned and Conquered immediately won the love of listeners, and the mini-album Chapters of Misery became a commercial success. Jonathan Cook Hayden, also known as Johnny Plague, was a founding member of the metal band Bleak December, which would later change their name to Winds of Plague. The band has five albums to their credit. Though even now Oliver Sykes and his band Bring Me the Horizon are making music towards a popular sound, but their early work was in a heavy style. Their 2006 debut album Count Your Blessings was recorded in the Dietger genre. Ben Dewar is one of the founding members of Shadow of Intent. It was originally a studio project that evolved into a full-fledged Dietger band. Will Ramo started learning extreme vocals when he was a teenager. He was a member of several rock bands until he started the Lorna Shore collaboration. Will was originally a touring vocalist and then joined the main lineup. Ian Bearer at the age of 20 became the lead singer of the Californian band Rings of Saturn and took part in the recording of four of their albums. The release of Ultuella became the most successful in the history of the band, reaching number 76 on the Billboard 200. Atlanta native Chris Ronzak had the idea of becoming a rock star in his youth. At the age of 16, he and his friends put together the band Attila, which focused on such genres as Metallica, Deepgur and rap metal. Marcus Biscoff joined Heaven Shall Burn in 1998 and immediately became an instant crowd favorite. The band released nine studio albums. Alex Tayen is the vocalist of Black Tongue, one of the most original bands in the underground scene. Their debut mini-album Falsifier received a lot of praise from Dietger fans. Rock Rupnik became famous as a vocalist of Slovenian slamming Dietger band Within Destruction. The band was founded in 2010 and released five albums. At a young age Frankie Palmieri managed to be in many bands. At the age of 17 he founded Emir, in which he was able to realize his passion for music. Diggy Allen has been a vocalist in numerous bands, but he gained his greatest fame as a member of Infant Annihilator in 2014. Despite their extreme sound, the band makes satirical and parodic music with shocking humor. Steve Merwa was at the origins of the Canadian Dietger band Despised Icon. That's where Steven was able to creatively realize himself. Alex Irian is one of the vocalists of Despised Icon, but at the beginning of his career he played drums. The band released six albums, the most famous of which are The Ills of Modern Man and Day of Mourning. Ronnie Canizero became interested in music as a child when his mother bought him a drum kit. 
At the age of 14 he together with his classmates, founded the band Diminished, which would later become famous as Born of Osiris. The name Mitch Lucker is known by all fans and haters of the Deepgur genre. At the age of 18 he and his buddy founded the band Suicide Silence, which after the release of the debut album The Cleansing, became one of the leading bands in the extreme metal genre. Vincent Bennett and his friends put together the Akeka Strain at the age of 19, a band that has more than 10 albums to its credit. Vincent touches on misanthropy and nihilism in his lyrics. Michael Lessard is the fourth vocalist of the Indiana-based metal band The Contortionist, whose early work was in the Deepgur style. The 2014 album Language hit the US charts. Anthony Nottermasso joined the band after the burial in 2008. Their most famous single is Lost in the Static. Chris McMahon was a member of many rock bands, but he managed to leave a significant mark in the deeper genre in the band I Art is Murder, which he joined in 2009. Watch these videos if you want to see more interesting content about celebrity transformation. See you in the next videos.